Hello fellow Geocache puzzle solvers. Today I'm going to show you another puzzle that I recently solved. This one involves clock code. If you're brand new to this type of code, then stick around. I'm going to show you exactly how to decode clock code. And if you have already done it once before, stick around anyway. You could learn something new. Now for the cache page. To protect the original geocache, this one is called Buttons, Buttons, Buttons. This is a fake name, fake GC code, puzzle made by me, just to show you clock code as always. So, it was a three difficulty when I solved it, and a two and a half terrain, size small. And then you see the fake chords at the bottom. And now for the cache description. As always, the cache is never at the posted coordinates. A small description is here. There are buttons on the radio. There are buttons on a stove. There are buttons on a door lock, and there are buttons on a digital clock. Lots of buttons everywhere, even the old touch tone phones. So push some buttons and find the coordinates for this cache. Well, there is a clue that is in this description, and that is clock, digital clock or clock. Because if you look at that code, that is what clock code looks like. So you have your puzzle in bold at the bottom. So how do you solve it? My recommendations for trying to solve this is either the Geocache Toolbox, Cache Sleuth, or Decode.fr. In this case, Cache Sleuth was the first one I tried and the easiest. Let me show you how it actually works. When you go to Cache Sleuth's website, the first thing that comes up at the top is a multi-decoder. This is where you're going to paste any cipher that you're trying to solve. So as you see here, all I had to do was copy and paste. Now, if you have a keyword, alphabet, numbers, etc., there's a spot to put those underneath, but there's no keywords here. So, you copy, paste, you hit solve, and after you hit solve, you're going to get a whole bunch of ciphers to scroll through. Well, you just keep scrolling down until, like I said, something that looks like coordinates or something that looks like a hint or something. So when you scroll down through cast salute, you get clock code. And in clock code, you're given the coordinates. North 40 degrees, 50.570 west 75 degrees 17.100 which is close to the original chords that were given on the cash page or if you don't want to do it the easy way there is a clock code key that you can find on the internet and this key that i'm showing you right here on the right hand side is exactly what Cast Sleuth uses to solve the cipher. So you can either do it by hand or you can do it the easy way and use Cast Sleuth. And no, I am not being paid to advertise their website at all. I'm just doing it because I want you guys to know puzzle solving doesn't always have to be hard. Unless you're doing a five difficulty. Then those are hard. Alright puzzle solvers. You now see clock code. And the best place to go. If you don't know what kind of cipher. Or code that you have. Cash Sleuth. Is always my number one go to. Because it's really easy just to copy and paste. And then scroll through all the ciphers that it thinks might fit. Until you find something that looks like cordon, that coordinates. Or sometimes you don't get cords, you get a clue. 
Either or, Cass Sleuth is the best way to eliminate a lot of possibilities right off the bat. Well, I thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something new today, and I hope you can solve the geocache puzzle in your area. Happy trails, happy caching, and go get a smiley.